So I'm about 11 years old and I'm in Brigantine, New Jersey for vacation because we used to have a shore house down there. And I had a very annoying aunt with me and my mom, my sister, and my cousin were down for the week. And we normally just were shoebies and used to go on the weekends. But for some reason we were there the entire week that, that time that year. And we'd gone to the boardwalk in Ocean City come back with a bunch of you know, caramel corn, salt water tappies, the usual thing. And somehow, when we had gotten to the house, my mother noticed that on the driveway there was some thing, some object, something. And I wasn't really paying attention. As my sister was about to pull in, my mother screamed, no, no, don't pull in, don't pull in the driveway. So we parked in the street, she stopped the car. She said, what's the matter? And my mom said, don't, don't go near it. Don't touch it. My aunt looked and she said, no, no, don't touch it. Meanwhile, we're like, touch what? What are you talking about? And there was a dead bird in the middle of the driveway. And it, it was, it was a black bird. I think it was a crow. Could have been magpie, but I think it was a crow. And my mom and my aunt became increasingly alarmed because they immediately went to superstition town being the crazy Italians we are. She said, you don't uh, ever go near a bird. If a blackbird's dead on the ground or in or near something that you have or on your property, car, whatever, you don't touch it. And, and the worst the, of the death or that it looks like, if it's been picked at or eaten or it was dropped or it broke or something terrible, got hit by a car, whatever the reason it's dead, the worse the reason or the worse it looks, then the worse of the situation you're going to find out and somebody's dead. So my sister and I look at her like, okay, mom, what are you talking about? My cousin completely dismissed it and laughed at her. And my aunt yelled at him, smacked him right across the face and said, no, that's, it's definitely going to happen. You're going to find out somebody's dead. I'm telling you, somebody died. It's not funny. So my sister and I got quiet and just kind of went with it. And we started to walk over a little bit to look at it and uh, got yelled at immediately. No, don't go near it. Don't even walk near it. Walk a different path. Don't go by it. Don't take anything near it. Okay, so we obeyed, and it's weird because it wasn't there when we left, so it must have happened in the time that we were at the boardwalk, and I don't think we were at the boardwalk, maybe two or three hours. So we're all carrying things, and we walk in, and as soon as we walked in the door, the phone was ringing. So my mom raced to the phone, picks up the phone, and just in a few seconds, I see her face drop, and she looks sad, and she says, what happened when? When did it happen? How did it happen? And I'm thinking something bad. So she hangs up the phone and we're all sitting down. It was a small house and we were two feet from the kitchen in the parlor. And she says, uh, my uncle had died and he died within the time that we were at the boardwalk, presumably that the bird showed up. So my sister, my cousin and I, we looked at each other like, Ooh, wow, that's weird. Like that's, that's actually true. So she said, I told you somebody died and my Aunt jumped in and said, yes, you don't, you don't mess around with that. That's, don't touch it. Just leave it there. And I think they actually left it in the driveway until my father and my brother came down on the weekend to dispose of the carcass. But she kept saying things really morbid and macabre that like the, the darker it was, it was more of a damaging or, or sudden death and it brought about death and it was just an indicator of death. And I thought, oh man, you know, that's horrible. So I kind of put that in my data banks. And in my head, I thought, well, okay, so birds are bad. And apparently dead birds are bad. But um, years would go by and I was senior in college getting ready to graduate. And about a week before, I had some issue, for lack of better wording, with one of my professors who was stalling on one of my papers on purpose for personal reasons and nothing to do with school or my work it actually had to do with an acquaintance that the two of us knew and it was silly and it worked out but prior to my knowing that it was all going to work out and be fine I was going probably every day when I was finished school and done finals and I had like a week between school and graduation and I went up almost every day to see this professor try and work out the situation look over this paper over and over again as a result I have a uh uh, bad flavor for Robert Frost that I used to like, but yeah, road not traveled. Don't need to hear about it again. And that was why it was on Robert Frost. So we had a difference of opinion 
about him. And I kept going back and forth. And finally, the last day before he made a decision, which would affect my graduation, honors, everything, um, potential awards, etc. I was nervous and I hugged my mom goodbye standing at my kitchen. And, and she said, you're going to be fine. You're going to be okay. And I said, well, you're a mom. You're biased. You say things like that. And as I was talking to her, this little teeny brown bird um, landed outside my window on the clothesline, which is maybe six feet away from where we were standing inside. And my mom lit up and was all excited and started smiling. And I had it in my head like bird equals bad. <laughs> I said, Mom, why are you smiling? And she said, oh, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. It's a little birdie and it's a good sign. I said, you told me birds are bad. She said, I never said that. I said, yes, you did. When I was 11 and we were down the shore and we came upon the the dead bird in the driveway and our you know uncle died. And she said, yeah, but that's because it was a dead bird and that was a, a, a bird messenger of death. And I'm trying to take this conversation seriously, mind you. And uh, she said, that's no, this is good. This is a live bird. It's a good little birdie. Like, it's okay. It's not one that, that you know, eats things. Or I guess the motif was if it was a vulture or uh, a crow, something that would eat remnants or remains, then that was what made it equate to death. But if it was a uh, live little normal bird, it was okay. So I said, okay, didn't know there were bird rules. And I kind of laughed about it. And I said, well, thanks, but I wasn't convinced. And I went outside. She said, have faith. It's going to be okay. And my mother's probably the most faithful human I know. So I figured, well, okay, I'll listen to mom. And I walk outside. I had a white car at the time. And as I closed my door, I turned to open my car and there was a little robin on my car and the blue of his feathers contrasted so much with the white, you couldn't help but see him like this little blue speck, looked like a smurf. And I just started laughing because I thought, oh, what is this? Like your buddy out back, the little brown bird, like came and told you we need to get another bird here. So yeah, I laughed. I thought, oh, mom would like this. I'll tell her later. And hopefully there was truth to her theory that it was a good sign. As I approached the car, he flew away. I get in my car, I start the engine, and out of nowhere, this red cardinal appears on my antenna, back when cars had antennas, and just landed right on the top of it, almost like looking at me as if to wink, whistle a bit, and then fly away. And I remember thinking, this is like a three-bird salute. You know, they were uh, wishing me well off to school. So I drive down to school, and I meet with the professor, and... I'm thinking about these birds the whole way. And it was a tense conversation, but in the end, he was amicable to everything and it all went well. And I got the grade I needed and everything went fine. Certainly I graduated and, and got my honors and moved on. But I came home uh, telling mom about the birds on the way out. She's like, see, they were trying to tell you that everything was going to be fine. And it's just been a source of, of chuckling for me all throughout because I, I do find myself looking for little signs like that and whether you believe it or not it's definitely one of those superstitions that uh holds on and since i've had i'll say uh, examples or proof if you will then it means something to me so a little fun fact next time you see a little birdie think about uh hopefully he's alive think about the thing that you're waiting on or wondering about and then maybe that's some sort of little hint uh god's way of remaining anonymous i guess if you like this type of content, scare the like button into turning blue and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching.